Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Sunday. We are getting ready to watch the game. And I thought I would show you, this has been on my list to do all month long, and I thought I would show you how I am going to can chili beans and black beans. So I just went to Aldi and I got a bag of pinto beans and a bag of black beans. These are dried. We like pinto beans better than kidney beans. Um, we just like the texture a lot better. So that's what we're gonna be working with. And my biggest tip for canning is to get all of your supplies in your assembly line all laid out before you start so that you can just go down the row, put all the spices in, your jars are all washed, all of that, um, so that you can quickly do it when your water is boiling. We're gonna do a hot pack, which um, I don't do a hot pack very often, I usually do a cold pack, but with beans, you do a hot pack. And we are pressure canning, so that is my pressure canner right there. And so I'm just gonna wash my jars and get my assembly line ready, and then I will give you the recipe and show you what we are doing. Okay, we have kosher salt, tomato sauce, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, onion powder, cumin, and then this is not in the recipe, but we kind of like spicy, so this is like a chili lime um, seasoning that I got from Aldi that we really like, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in each jar. I've got my dried beans. I just have to rinse these in pit crew and make sure there's no stones or anything like that. Potatoes are not in the recipe. That's going in my crock pot soon. All my jars are over there, um, sterilized. I have a big pot of boiling water, which is what we're gonna put in the beans once all the ingredients are in there. And then I have a little pot back here um, of warm water, and I will turn that to simmering in just a minute of all of my brand new lids that I have. And I'm doing a mixture of um, wide mouth and small mouth pint jars because that's the size that we will use the most. So I'm just going to rinse my beans and then we will get started with our assembly line. recipe from Tangi on um, Freedom Homestead, another YouTube channel. And so I thought um, she sold me on it. It sounded delicious. The only thing that I'm going to do different is the pinto beans are going to be the chili beans. So we're going to add tomato sauce to those. But the black beans, I don't want them to be chili beans. I just want them to be like seasoned black beans. So I'm just going to leave that out, but add all of the exact same spices to those. So, we are going to do a half a cup of dried beans, an eighth of a cup of tomato sauce, half a teaspoon of onion powder, um, quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt, quarter of a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of paprika. So, I'm just going to get my jars and then I will lay it all out and put the beans in and then put the spices in on top.
I've got all our spices and tomato sauce in the jars. I have my boiling water right here. And now I'm just gonna fill the jars and leave about an inch of head space, which is pretty much up to their each rim. And sorry for all the background noise, but I've got my canner venting. It has to vent for 10 minutes. I've got the timer set. And my fan automatically turns on in my microwave when it gets too hot. So those are the noises that you're hearing. So we're just gonna fill these up with water and wipe the rims off and put the lids on top. jar around and that's to get the air bubbles out but to also stir it up so I'm just gonna stir each jar and I don't know what I was thinking before you don't vent your canner before your jars are in there so I just stopped that which hello as much as I've canned I still get confused this is the first canning I've done since the fall, like harvest time, really. So, no, I take that back. I canned some venison. Um, oh, I guess that was November, early December. Okay, so each jar is almost all stirred up. All right. Now I am going to wipe the rims off. And the reason you wipe the rims off is you don't want anything that will prevent a good seal between your jar and your lid. So I'm just gonna wipe the rims off really well and then put the jar, the lid on and the ring on and then they'll be ready to go in the canner. the jars are pretty hot and then this water in here is hot so you don't want to ever mix hot water and cold water because that's when your jars break so I'm just gonna do a little wiggling around to get all nine of my jars in the bottom of here and I actually have a really large canner and so I can do my black beans the same way minus the tomato sauce and put another one of these racks on top and do all of my beans at one time, which I really like because then I'm only um, processing everything once because it's gonna process for 75 minutes. And so to have to do that twice, you know, that takes a long time versus just the one time. So I'm just gonna finish putting these in here and then get started on the black beans. show you how much comes off when you wipe the rims and that would cause you to not have a good seal on your jar if those spices and tomato sauce were left on there. There is my canner full of beans. It's cranked up to high and this little vent tube right here when I see a steady stream of um, steam coming out I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna put my 10 pound weight on here. And once the weight starts jiggling, then I start my 75 minutes. The camera just went off. I don't think it's the camera, I don't think you can see that, but it is venting away. So now, with the hot pad, because this is kind of the scary part, you're gonna quick put the weight on top. And you have to be careful, because you can burn yourself really badly. So I'm just gonna wait for that to start jiggling and then I'm gonna set the timer for 75 minutes 
And then you generally turn the heat down too because you want it like a gentle rock back and forth. You don't want that thing going crazy or to let too much pressure out. The timer is just about ready to go off. Got 20 seconds left and this is kind of what it sounds like when it is like jiggling. See, see that jiggle? You kind of want that to do that every so often to let the pressure out. But now I'm just going to turn the heat off and you're going to leave the weight on there until pressure comes fully down and this little button will pop down. Then you can take off the lid and the jars are still extremely hot so you have to be careful. And then you don't, like you wouldn't put it right on your countertop. I always put a big towel down and then you let it sit for like 24 hours, 12 at the least, so that the seal gets really nice and sealed. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Um, and I hope that you try out canning. Once you have all of your supplies, it's really simple to do. You know, it is kind of an investment. And I did want to mention, I was trying to figure out how much um, a can of beans cost me. I figured I would just talk to the camera instead of talking to the canner. Um, but I tried to figure out how much a can of beans cost me. And so I think I have $4 into the bag of beans. It might even be less. And then I used 18 lids, which is about $5-ish, maybe a little bit less. And I got 18 jars of beans. So if you had to buy all the spices, it would be more, but I had all the spices on hand. So if I have about $9, it's probably less than that then that's still only 50 cents um, a can of beans. And it's way better than just store-bought beans. And you get to choose your spices. You can add pretty much whatever you want to it, you know, to make it to your liking. But they're going to be delicious. I'm going to use them in chili. I'm going to use them in, um, I have a black bean quinoa dip that's really delicious. And so I'm going to use it in a ton of recipes. And I will just... 19, or 18 cans of beans will last us for like six months. So that's what I did on this Sunday. I hope you learned something and I hope you try it out at home. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.